Hi guys, it's me again, and I thought for my first proper video for the channel, I would be reviewing Marvel's latest big screen adaptation, Thor. Now, I don't know what the general consensus is on the internet regarding what people think of this movie, but I thought it was excellent, and I'm going to talk about why. Now, the first thing I thought was really good was the fact that instead of using the kind of traditional version of Thor, who is kind of trapped in the body of Donald Blake, and has to kind of smash his star from the ground to become Thor. They use the ultimate version who, you know, who is Thor all the time and who is kind of sent down to Earth as a punishment. And the general popular world I think is crazy. I think it's a really good version of the character. I think it really humanizes the character, you know, in a script. It adds some comedy and it really just makes the whole thing flow much more easily. And I think I think that that means that the film in general is more believable. I think if you had a film where you know you had a two actors playing the same character, one's an old man and one is you know Thor, seen in the actual movie played by Chris Helmsworth. If you had that, it would be less believable. And I think if I'd have gone to see it. I wouldn't have believed it. I don't think other people would have believed it too. The other thing I liked most was just the whole way it was done. I think it could have been very, 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 very camp. And actually it was well made. I think I think Asgard looked amazing. I think that the armour on most of the characters, I'm not too sure about Sith, but most of the characters was awesome. I think that Natalie Portman did a good job. I think that all sorts of side members of the cast did a great job, especially as these characters are so over the top. It could have just been some insane kind of slightly camped melodrama, but it actually works quite well. Well, speaking of, of actors that I think are brilliant in this movie, apart from Obviously, Chris Helmsworth, who's the guy playing Thor. Anthony Hopkins is the best Odin possible. I'm not sure who thought of casting Anthony Hopkins as Odin, but whoever did, thank you. Thank you so much for choosing the best actor possible. Um, now, I, a lot of criticism that I have seen in this movie either comes from the kind of insane group of people who think that it's kind of a bit racist, which I think it isn't. I think it isn't true. It's a comic book movie, so I don't think... If you're going to add dynamics of of political stuff into it, you shouldn't be. It's just a summer blockbuster, and it, it's just meant for entertainment. But I think the other, most other criticism that I've heard is that, you know, it's very, very kind of... So it's it's too consumed with with kind of moving towards the Marvel's Avengers movie, which is coming next year. And I think that's kind of true, but it's better than Iron Man 2. You know, with Iron Man 2, it was all just a massive trailer for the Avengers. You know, you had Samuel L. Jackson and Nick Fury in every other scene. You had little bits of Avengers stuff just all over various scenes, whereas this... This is more of a standalone movie, you know, you've got to see the origin of Thor, you've got to see Asgard, you've got to see what Thor was like, you've got to see his progression arc. I mean, yeah, sure, there was, you know, Agent Coulson, who's the kind of shield operative who's in every Marvel movie now, he was there, but other than that, I think it, it worked really well. I think that if you look at it, or try to look at it as a standalone movie, it works a lot better than, say, Iron Man or The Incredible Hulk. So I really really liked it. Things that I didn't like, uh, I mean, I mean, I've been to see it twice, so I've kind of got a good overview of the film now. Things that I didn't like were just, just tiny little niggling things about the special effect. Like, I think, although I've already said that some of the armour was amazing, some of it did look very plastic. I think there's a particular scene where they're strolling down the main street of the the town in New Mexico where Thor winds up and some of Thor's Asgardian friends are in their armour 
And although this is a point of comic relief in the film, it still looks very, very fake. There's a lot of kind of there's a lot of kind of special effects sheen on the armor, and you can kind of tell. I think I think maybe that's probably where the film falls down. If you're looking at the armor, to in fact, if you, in fact, actually, that's something I'll go and say generally about the whole film. Some of the set and some of the armor, if you look just a little too long, you will see you know, the odd crack or the odd plastic bit. But I guess that's the same with every film. I mean, if you looked at any film, again and again and again, you'd start to see flaws. So overall, I really, really liked Thor. And I hope that Captain America and X-Men First Class, both of which are coming up this summer, are as good as Thor, because it was really, really entertaining. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.